How can you make your batteries in your tablets and smartphones last longer? No, not that kind of longer. We'll get into that in today's episode of the Android Guy Weekly. All right, so last week we talked about batteries. Specifically, we talked about how batteries are holding us back. Our processors, our screens, our GPUs, our radios, everything that we're doing inside of our phones and tablets is using more and more power. And that little battery right there is kind of holding us back because, well, this guy is, uh, where does it say? It's like 1,750 milliamp hours. Yep, right there, 1,750 milliamp hours. That's not that much. And the more powerful devices we get, the more power we need to have in our batteries to be able to use them like we'd expect. It was a good topic. And then we went to the discussions. The discussions, we got into a lot more detail. Thank you guys for doing that. And then the people who didn't have a lot of battery knowledge and expertise were able to ask a lot of questions that a lot of the, uh, the people, we had some guys in there with like electrical engineering degrees. Wow. They were able to help out a lot. So if you haven't looked at the comments, please after the video look at the comments add your own if you've got something you can add to the conversation please do if you've got a question that wasn't answered please ask that's what the Android Guy Weekly is all about interestingly one of the biggest topics from that whole discussion was how can I make my battery last longer okay everybody wants more battery life right exactly but that wasn't the question. The question was, how can I expand the lifespan? You see, batteries have a shelf life. Just like the gallon of milk that's in your fridge, they don't last forever. Eventually, they go sour. Batteries don't go sour like milk does. They just kind of lose their ability to hold the charge. You can still charge them and discharge them, but they lose the ability to hold it or the ability to hold it gets shorter and shorter and shorter so that you might not be able to get through an entire day. So how can we make our batteries last longer and why is it such a big deal? Let's answer that second part first. It's a big deal because take a look at your tablet. I don't care if it's an Android or an iOS device. Take a look at it. Open it up and tell me what size your battery is. You can't open it up, you say? Yeah, your battery's stuck in there, isn't it? Not easy to get out. Sure, with the right tools and the right people, you can do it. But generally speaking, that's not something an end user is supposed to do. So essentially, you have a non-replaceable battery in your tablet. Not cool. Sorry, but it's not. Let's go over to smartphones. The smartphones that I have are all end user battery replaceable. I can swap out a new battery, no problem. That's an advantage if I want to go on an extended trip and have a couple batteries in my pocket. When I run out of juice, I can turn it off, pop the battery, pop a new one in, turn it back on, I'm good to go. Or if I have a battery that dies, I can pop a new one in, I'm good to go. Or I can get an extended battery and have an extended amount of time that I can use my phone. It's great. I love it and it's fabulous. But a lot of phones these days are coming out with non-user replaceable batteries. There are some advantages to that. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but there are advantages and I don't, I'm not going to knock manufacturers for doing that, but it does make our topic today even more poignant. That's your vocabulary word for the day, by the way. The problem that most of us have is we don't know how to charge our phones. I didn't know how to charge a battery. Did you know that? I'm a ham radio guy. Go ahead and get your snickering over with. Okay, great. I was providing emergency communications out on Antelope Island. You can look that up on Google Maps. There's no power out there, by the way. Well, to a couple places. Where I was, there was not. So we didn't have the power that we needed to run the radios, the laptops, the repeaters, you know, all of that stuff. We had to bring our own. And a lot of it was battery-based. So we had a discussion about batteries, me and an Elmer. If you don't know what an Elmer is, it's ham radio lingo. You can look that up too. He took some time to teach me about batteries. He had a laptop there with a little digital sticky note on the screen that said, charging disabled. I didn't know why. So he told me. He said, you see, I'm running this laptop off the power. 
but I'm not charging the battery. So I'm not discharging the battery either. When I need the battery, I have the battery. When I don't need the battery, I'm using the power. It's great. Okay, but why turn your battery charging off? He said that's the fastest way that you can kill a battery is by keeping it always charged. Blew me away. I thought that that was completely ironic and it probably still is. But you see, batteries have an optimal run rate. So this battery, for example, generally speaking, I don't know this one specifically, works best between 20% and 80% charged. That's kind of the sweet spot for most batteries. So you drop below 20%, you're shortening how much life you can get out of your battery. You go above 80%, you're shortening the life that you get out of your battery. Now that's another problem. See, our smartphones aren't really reporting the true state of charge of our battery. They're reporting something else. And I don't really know what it is, but it's to help you, you know, they want you to see, hey, you got 100% so that you'll stay up really high percentages longer than you should, and you'll stay above lower percentages longer than you should. So it's not a straight line like one would imagine that it should be. I don't know why they do that. I don't know the whole ins and outs of that. If you do, let us know. But by keeping your battery between 20 and 80%, you are going to be able to use it for a lot longer, three or four times longer than you normally would. So how long should you use them? Well, about two years is about the average length of time that you should expect to be able to use, efficiently use, a lithium ion or lithium polymer battery. Just so you know, if you keep that thing charged all the time, expect that to be cut in half. If you discharge it or deep discharge, that's where you run it below 20%, specifically down to where your phone has to power off because it doesn't have enough juice. That's also going to cut down the lifespan of your battery probably more than in half. Okay, that's one you might get six to eight months if you continually deep discharge it. It's not designed for deep discharge again and again and again. Okay, it is, but it has side effects. Okay, don't do it. So that's the tip. Keep your batteries somewhere between 20 and 80%. That might mean that you just leave it on your desk throughout the day, not plugged in until an hour before you go home. By doing that, you're going to be able to extend the lifespan of your battery, which if you've got a device that you can't take the battery out of and replace, that means you're going to expand or extend the life of your device. If you do have a user replaceable battery like I do in my devices, that just means that you're not gonna have to spend as much money on replacement batteries, which is always a good thing. And last thing to mention, whenever you do have a battery that goes out, Make sure you take that back to your battery store for proper recycling. Do not just throw them away. Lithium is toxic. You don't want that ending up in your groundwater. Okay, so there is the uh, environmentally friendly. Okay, screw that. I'm not environmentally friendly today. I just don't want my kids to be poisoned. Tip of the day. Is that fun enough? All right. So for another episode of Android Guy Weekly and how to get more life out of your batteries, I'm Joe Levi, and now it's your turn. Go down to the comments add your comments down there. Participate in the conversation. Give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you share it with your friends and head on over to pocketnow.com so that you can read all about this and our last article on batteries. Thanks for watching.